Hi, my name is Miss Swenson, and today we're going to continue to talk about writing and the counting for our music, this time using the 2-4 and 3-4 time signatures. We'll start with an example in 2-4. Just as before, we're going to circle the top number, which in this case is a 2. That means 2 beats per measure. Our 4 on the bottom hasn't changed, so it still means that our quarter note will get 1 beat. As you see here, I'm writing out the 1 and 2 and per measure. I'm only going to 2 because the 2 is on top. And this helps me remember what I need to put into the measure. Remember for our eighth notes, we want to separate the symbols. So when we start with 1, as always, at the beginning of a measure, I separate the 1 and to two different notes. And then I go to separate and. For our next measure, we have a quarter note, and for the quarter notes, we need to remember to keep them together. So when we start with one, we'll also include the and. The next symbol here is a quarter rest. In order to figure out how to count that rest, we need to remember that a quarter note is equal to a quarter rest. So if a quarter note gets one and, a quarter rest will get one and. Now in this case we've already used the one and, so we go right to the two and. If I were to clap this rhythm, it would sound like this. One and, two and, one and, two and. Now let's also look at an example with three, four. Again, I'm going to circle the top number, which is a three. That means three beats per measure, counting to three. Our four has stayed the same, so again, quarter note will get one beat. So this time I'll be writing in one and, two and, three and for every measure. And as I start at the beginning, I see a quarter note in which the symbols need to be together, so I put one and and then I see eighth notes, which have to be separated. So I start with two, and then separate to and on the next note. And then finally, another quarter note, which the symbols are together, so I say three and. Now, in the second measure there, we have a dotted half note. Remember that the dotted half note is the only symbol in the measure. So somewhere there still needs to be one and, two and, three and. In order to know how many counts for this, I like to remember that a half note is equal to two quarter notes. So therefore, a dotted half note would be equal to three quarter notes. So if we count the quarter notes, if we would normally, putting the symbols together, it would be one and, two and, three and. Therefore, the dotted half note will get one and, two and, three and. Again, we had to put that many symbols under this note because there's only one note in the measure. If I were to clap this rhythm, it would go like this. One and, two and, three and, one and, two and, three and. So those are some examples using the three, four, and two, four time signatures. Hopefully with all this information from part one and part two, you will be able to write in the counting for any of those time signatures. Hope this helps you with your counting, and thanks for watching.